Daryl for Barbecue Superstars. And you know, hospitality is what barbecue is all about. And and uh, we were in here last night on Thursday night, and this man here fed a lot of people, and it was a big center of action. But what's your name, buddy? Uh, Dan Sidley. Okay, and tell us a little bit about your center here. Uh, it's just barbecue and having fun. <laughs> That's what it's all about, uh, and feeding people. We feed uh, all veterans. Any veteran that walks up gets fed. Uh, all law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs. Uh, and today we also fed uh, all the Winchester City employees, <clears throat> about uh, 30 or so, something like that. So the police officers, and then uh, you got a lot of attendees from the mayor and the city councilmen, and we seen them out here last night. And and uh, tell us a little bit about the venison chili. We ate some; it was so good. Well, the venison is was a, was a roadkill. <laughs> Believe it or not, a buddy of mine's deputy sheriff, and he called me. And said there was a dead deer. He said, guy just hit it and wanted to know if I wanted it. And I went and picked it up and uh, took it, had it processed. Uh, I made it into jerky, and the jerky went to Afghanistan to feed the Marines. And the uh, rest of it went into ground beef or ground venison and uh, made chili with it. Wow, well, we just ate some of it, and it was so good. And, you know, there's a few people in the world that are like the salt of the earth and good people. And, you know, you come over here. I just ate a big old plate. I got a piece, big old piece of chicken, baked beans, and uh, coleslaw, and then I got some pulled pork. And tell us about the baked beans. What would you put in there? Uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> Man, uh, uh, it's, uh, they're good. Yeah. But I put a little of this, a little of that in there. and. Well, I'll tell you, I could have got some rice or something and put them baked beans in and just ate the baked beans and not worried about any meat. They were so good. But, uh, well, uh, how many more people do you think you're going to feed this weekend? Saturday will be a busy day. Uh, Saturday is a competition day, so it's pretty hectic. Um, they may come up here, but we'll be pretty busy. Oh, y'all competing too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, so you're a competition team along with. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you know, that sounds like BK Barbecue feeding everybody and competing too. What's the name of your team? Smoking Sids. Smoking sits. All right. How many competitions do you do a year? Uh, this is it. Oh, this is it. Yeah, I love my. I love. We love Winchester. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Lake, mountains. It's well, many people you fed uh, have you fed, and the community involvement you've done. We hope you win. And uh, I know for you, it's probably not about winning. It's just about you and your son. Your son said you all have a good time out here. Yeah, yeah we have a good time. You got good music right behind us, right there. <laughs> I hope you got some more CDs, though. It's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, the Winchester, Tennessee, High on the Hog Festival. And uh, we're really glad we met you. And, uh, and uh, thanks a lot for supporting uh, Mrs. Long. I tell you, she, she's a hardworking yes. woman. And Brenda, we love you, and we appreciate everything you do. And, uh, so and Jeannie Bates, they, they work hard. Yeah, and Jeannie got her a little surprise award. Did you know she's going to get the Crystal Pig? No, I didn't know. That. hope she doesn't drop it. <laughs> yeah, and there was something about she kept telling them they had to move it on the board for the plaque, and uh, she didn't know she's moving it for herself. Yeah, I think she's an Alabama fan. That's why she's worried about dropping it. <laughs> uh, we hope South Carolina. What, what do you think about the South Carolina team this year? Uh, they may come around eventually. It's been a long time, though. I thought Spurrier would win us a championship quick, but he hadn't done it, has he? Yeah, I had a buddy that played for Spurrier, and he, uh, he's got big hopes for him. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to move on down the line a little bit. And uh, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstar. Moving on. Well, I'm Mike Butler. I'm with the Fish and Energy of Tennessee. I'm one of our NABSEP installers. Uh, this system here at the Wamper Sausage Farm has uh, 2,240 sharp uh, solar panels. The panels were made in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, it's a 500 kilowatt system. And uh, the Wampler family is very interested in making renewable energy. You know, it's a priority for them. Uh, we decided to invest in solar and other green technologies uh, because we think that's what the consumer wants. For one thing, our products touch the lives of millions of people each and every week. And so therefore, we feel like we've got a responsibility to them to make our products in the most sustainable way possible. Uh, another reason is we're an agricultural company and taking care of the environment. We understand how important that is. That's where we make our livelihood. We have worked with the United States uh, Department of Agricultural's Rural Development, Rural Energy for America program. Uh, that has been a fantastic thing for us. We're actually receiving the largest USDA REAP grant 
in the state of Tennessee's history. Uh, we're going to get $250,000, and that's a great incentive towards the $2.4 million that's behind me here. Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, continuing in Winchester, Tennessee. And here we're here with our main man, one of the big sponsors, Wampler Sausage. And uh, they're going to have a competition this evening. And uh, tell us a little bit about the sausage competition on Anything But tonight. Okay, we, uh, we go by and give all the teams, there's 58 teams out here, we're giving them all a roll of sausage. They're coming by and then they'll make up a recipe of their, of their choice or whatever they want to do with it. Put those in a, in a half aluminum pan with about six servings in each pan. Cover those with four and we'll turn those in and we'll judge those tonight. And then tomorrow we're handing out trophies on that. As you see here, we've got some very nice trophies for first and second place. Uh, for the any, anything but on the Wampers Farm Sausage Competition. We've been sponsoring this competition now for the last four years and doing a real good job with it, so we're honored to be part of the Winchester Barbecue team. Okay, we heard that uh, Wamplers was in Bojangles. Uh, you do all their sausage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do all their breakfast sausage. So if you ate a Bojangles and their breakfast sausage gravy, I'm sure, and their breakfast sausage, uh, it'll be Wamplers that's in there. Plus, uh, how many states are you in? We're in 33 states as of, as of, as of right now. Yep. And uh, what, what are some of the grocery stores you can be found at? You can find it at Walmart, Kroger's, Food City, Ingalls, Bilo, um, Kroger's. I think I might have said Kroger. Wow. So all the big national chains, you're in all of them. Yes, sir. Lowe's in the Carolinas in the Lowe's. So. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. All right, now Wampler sausage is some good sausage, and you take it from good old Daryl that when I say I I know sausage from bad sausage from good sausage, this ain't nothing but some good sausage. And I tell you what, if uh, uh, you want to give a message out to people who like bad sausage, what would you say? Don't say sausage, just say Wampler for the best in quality. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And, and we'll also have breakfast here in the morning. We, as part of our sponsorship, we furnish all the, we do sausage for all the teams in the morning. We'll start serving breakfast here in the morning at 6.30, and run from 6.30 to 8.30 in the morning. So we do this in several other events. We do this here in his, this one. We'll also be in Pigeon Forge next month. So we're sure. You know, if you're going to have a bad day, you don't need to eat no bad sausage. And I'll tell you what. Eating good sausages like Wampler sausage will make you have a good day. So take my advice, old Daryl wouldn't steer you wrong. Get you some Wamplers today. Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. We're down here in Winchester, Tennessee with a fantastic team. Now, I seen him down in Tupelo, right? Yeah, I was down there in Tupelo hanging out. And uh, man, he's everywhere. He's got a lot of friends and everything. It's the Big Blue Q. And what's your name? I'm Jeff Alexander, okay. Athens, Alabama. Athens, Alabama. Man, Alabama's turning out to be a big barbecue state. Uh, we were just talking about the Huntsville competition. Uh, there's a lot of big competitions. Uh, the Dothan and... Oh, yeah, and Coleman, Alabama has a big Well, tell us a little bit about your team now. We want to introduce him to everybody. He's got some great sponsors. Uh, how long have you been cooking Q? Well, this is our first year in the professional division. We started last year, my son and I cooked last year in the backyard and so we made the move up oh wow well how's it feel so far well uh we're glad to be here we got introduced to it big time last weekend in gadsden alabama so welcome to the pro world they said <laughs> have you been to any cooking schools yet uh well we've been hanging out a little bit we've been around a couple of places and uh got some good tips a lot of these teams here are friend of ours and they give us a lot of support and help us out a lot so it's it's a great family to be with Yes, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, you see them every weekend and, you know, walk down through there. And uh, I haven't been to Tennessee that much, so I don't know as many here as I usually do. But uh, a lot of great teams. And, and uh, just talk about tonight. You know, Friday night's the night, isn't it? Friday night's it. You know, we start, well, right now, actually, we got the box building going on right now. So we're, we'll get that out of the way. A little bit later, we'll go to the meeting, then we'll do a little meat prep. And I tell you, timeline, folks. Now, you know, I can't push that enough. Uh, try to get yourself a, a timeline together where you know pretty much what you're going to do from starting on Friday at noon all the way to Saturday to the last turn in. Uh, if you got a timeline, then everybody's geared. It organizes everything. And I didn't really know how important it is until uh, this past two weeks. Well, what do you think about this weekend? A lot of them out here, isn't it? It's a lot of good teams here. I just uh, hope we're going to do better than we did last weekend. We learned a lot, and uh, that's just we got to start somewhere, so we're here for it. 
That's it. Well, big blue Q. Look out. This guy here, you can tell people that are going to get it and end up being on top. And I'm predicting this guy here another two years. He'll be right in there to mix with Tuffy Stone and a whole bunch of them. He'll be getting his, his set of grands. And what would it mean to you if you made it to the jack? Oh, that'd be, that'd be awesome. We cooked a jack last year in the backyard, so we got, you know, we got introduced to all of that world. So, yeah, that's a goal someday. Yeah, hopefully it'll happen. I hope so. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do if you look over and see a lot of bull right there on one side of you and uh, chick swine and bovine on the other? I'm going to say, boy, I'm in good company right here now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Davis, we love you. Now, we're going to be down there in uh, Decatur, uh, Alabama, uh, May 1st, and we're going to film a little bit of his chicken and rib prep uh, school and it's only two hundred dollars so make sure you go by and check it out well let's end it off uh, uh, say hey to your friends or talk to the barbecue people well I just uh, I just love barbecue and y'all come on out and support it and if you don't cook uh, get you a cooker and start and that's it well big big blue Q in Winchester Winchester Tennessee uh, at the uh, High on, high on the hog cook-off. Wow, I've said it ten times today. I couldn't say it. Uh, and we're excited. This is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. Moving on.